Good. Good. And welcome back to the Super Metroid 2024 Randomizer Mystery Tournament. We have a 2-0 matchup here in the waning parts of week three. We will be watching Audra versus Glove. My name is DJ Webb and I'm joined in the commentary booth by Ace Zero. How's it going, Ace? I'm doing great, DJ. Excited for this race. How are you? I'm doing good. It's been a relaxing Sunday thus far. We have, like I said, two very, very good runners here. Uh, both of them advancing 2-0. Um, not too much drama in either races for, uh, thus far for either of them, but this one should definitely be a thriller. Uh, I meant to look, but I think this is something like Seed 1 versus 9 or something like that. Maybe even 8. I forget exactly where Glove is, but... Yeah, these two somehow have actually never faced off, so totally new matchup here but should expect some very high level gameplay depending on what our seed has to offer us yeah absolutely i mean with swiss you generally expect to get like closer matchups the further in you get but this is already like this could be a like a final week matchup in swiss honestly like both these runners are so good and experienced that i guess when you get funneled into the top or the bottom the seeding is a little bit arbitrary so um, yeah, this should be a really good race. Regardless of the seeds, both runners have experience with all the modes, whether it's, you know, vanilla map area, whether the item fills Chozo or full countdown or major minor. And speaking of full countdown, that is what we have today with a very interesting 4-0 start. That's, a, that's quite something, especially the no-e tanks. I wouldn't really like that. Yeah, I mean, it kind of tells you you're not going to get hell runs like immediately because you're not going to get any e tanks here in criteria to do them and you're not going to get a suit in criteria to have like the varia with the heat protection either uh something i don't actually know is if the heat shield which could be placed if that can be in criteria i don't think it can it can actually it can. to my knowledge at least it can okay it's been too long since the canary settings <laughs> where that was every seed <laughs> yeah so yeah that, that's but yeah, this is interesting with no E-Tanks. We do have the 20 also showing that there's a uh, the starter nerf charge, and we'll have either one or two charge upgrades to get it back to its usual power. That is correct. Here in the Mystery Tournament, we like we said, we've already pointed out a couple of things that are randomized. Our runners do not know exactly what the parameters of the seed they're playing will be. You have to figure them out as you go. We've already got, like we said, starter or starter plus charge beam, as well as a full countdown item split obviously the one of the guaranteed majors is the morph ball which was vanilla we're coming down here and seeing a missile um other things that are randomized will have either vanilla map or area randomization we could have one of four boss uh, modes and there's also some things with different items which may or may not be in the seed and ammo distribution and we do not get any explosives or bomb breaking blocks down here that's kind of nice honestly as a runner when like I, full countdown there's like a weird middle ground where like you might want to check billy maze if you get power bombs but it kind of feels bad because it's so far away and like three majors it's like right on the cusp of like maybe it's worth doing but they don't even have to worry about it yeah sometimes the lack of choice is a little bit comforting like you said you cannot do anything other than bomb Terizo, and if it's area we can already access another portal but We'll have to see what comes here, as we did have a little bit of a difference, Audra, with a bit of a struggle on the missile in the ceiling. Elected to just not get it in a starter charge. Much more comfortable skipping missiles, even this early, than you probably would be in a vanilla charge situation. So, not necessarily going to fret about that, but obviously, that debus is like the first kind of execution test before this gauntlet of ridiculously hard criteria rooms, so definitely want to be on your game early on. Yeah, for sure. Nice climbs from both runners, little, little hiccups, but still pretty good wall jumps all the way through. So they get their, their sea legs, or space legs, I guess. This takes place in somewhere across the galaxy. <laughs> far, far away. And that is a right. charge upgrade, one of potentially That's... two, but we will see. That's very interesting. So that confirms it's 
going to be area randomizer. It has to be, otherwise there would be two power bomb doors on the right and everything to the left blocked by power bombs. But with area, they can go down the uh, the corkscrew room, the one with the crabs on the way to the moat, which is their only choice still. Can't kind of, <laughs> even be funneled. Yes, thus far, no choices have been presented to our runners other than, I mean, there have been people who have been, you know, electing to skip this BT check in full, uh, not knowing the map state that's even more risky than it would be if, you know, in other situations, but, you know. And no power bombs, because even if it was just yeah. a power bomb, like, that, you, you need those. Yes, you do. And yes, as I'm our taking damage... taking the save and Glove not taking the save, that's, that's interesting. I don't... Really know why Audra's taking the save? I guess the crabs are dangerous, but there's a couple ways you can take this room real safe if you're not going to try to pseudo screw through them. All right, Glow showing one of them with the pseudo screws, taking us into Red Brinstar, which is a 1 1 here. And yeah, as Chad is pointing out, our damage went from 20 to 40, which confirms starter plus, not regular starter. So there is one more charge upgrade out there in the wild. Um, that our runners may run into, may elect to you know, want to grab. Uh, if we find, you know, some more beam upgrades, it will be, you know, pretty good as far as our damage, but not quite going to be looking at 900 anytime soon. Yep. And here we do have a little bit of a divergence. Without the power bombs, um, <laughs> I kind of like... I, I Yeah, I guess Audrey doubling back, realizing they can't really do too much. <laughs> um... Up in Red Tower, only one item there, one major that is. At the very least, checking this portal and this one <laughs> item in the tube is good. That's a funny little loop here with Red Tower and Green Brinstar, but yeah. Spazer is checkable with the Super Missile. Um, the bomb block is turned into a shot block in mm -hmm. a lot of versions of Super Metroid Randomizer. So that would have been checkable, but yeah. No, uh, no ability to check a good amount of the items. Obviously, X-Ray locked by power bombs as well as Gill or other items, and the other doors uh, are a little bit of a point of no return. So, uh, yeah. Audra is going to now take the okay. little bit of a detour to end up checking that spacer. Yeah. I, I like this a lot better with power bombs, for sure. Like, it, I'm kind of on the fence. Like, the spacer is so close, you might want to check it anyway before getting stuck going all the way through Brinstar. But with the power bombs, especially, this seems nice because Audra can, if they really want to, guarantee to get the major basically and get that. E tank can go up all the way up to the top and then come back down if they have to, not getting locked behind the power bomb door. Yeah, I will also point out as Glove checked the three bubble or not bubble, the three big pink items before coming back and doing this uh force spawn skip. Uh the only area we've seen thus far with an E tank is Red Brinstar, which obviously the checks are a little bit spread out and that's much more of a portal area versus an item area but we do not have any e-tanks right now we're not going to get any in green burn there are a few rooms in here which are a little bit dangerous uh with those big hoppers which do 80 damage um we know that there could be reserve tanks but those don't come pre-filled so a little bit careful gonna need to be here for our runners early on Here's another area where this one super was all Glove had to get Ooh, this successful nice. gate glitch. Nicely done. I was potentially thinking, you know, Audra went back eventually for that spacer. One of the things you can possibly be a little bit worried about, I know I ran into this, uh, pretty much all of your ammo gets used a lot in Green Brinstar, and the, uh, the more you have, the better, which the only one check in the space are probably not going to be the most beneficial. But Powerbomb was probably the best outcome there. We do get a, another one here at the Spore Spawn Supers. But you don't want to be in dire straits. For example, Glove probably going up to the reserve area regardless before Etacoons, but there is a green door down there. Currently can't be opened with no current Supers. Yeah, even with just the two majors, like I think most runners would opt to go up here first, um, potentially skip all those Etacoon checks, especially the power bombs, a little bit of a slow one. And this is such a high densely packed area of items with things like that gravity suit. That is right. So we are going to see a check Glove didn't do here at the Mission Impossible. It'll be, again, a little bit more careful in using these missiles as opposed to the super you might normally see. And there is major number two okay. of this area. 
Spades so, yeah, we do have one charge upgrade. That's actually interesting. I think that's really good for Audra, just because they're going to have the second major here in Green Bryn under the bridge, and not going to go down to Edicoons, whereas Glove's probably going to go down to Edicoons and get like some ammo that's helpful, but not essential, and that might put Audra a little bit ahead as far as moving on to the next area here. Yeah, especially considering the likelihood that Glove will... Well, if you do, like, top-down Red Brinstar checks, you are going to not end up needing to check Spazer, but Spazer's probably going to be on Glove's mind, at least for a little bit, depending on how long it takes to get back to Red Brinstar, where Andre's already got that power bomb there, but yes. Glove... Well, I meant the Spazer item itself at, at the at Mission Impossible. Yeah, I guess both of them kind of work out that way. As okay, Glove is, not even Glove is failing on that major. That, that's a little surprising, but I guess there are no E-Tanks. I don't know, I think that's really risky since it like could be a suit, but I mean, there, she does already have a gravity suit, so chance of both suits there or not. Three, Two four, suits. and we already have Ooh. gravity. That's kind of not great, honestly. Yeah, you want you want Varia first to, to see something like that. <laughs> yeah. That kind of tells you you're almost going to need Varia suit, because like you're not really going to want to full clear these other areas for E-Tanks. When all the good movement items are going to be in LN. Yeah, three items is quite a bit down there. The checks in there are also a little bit disparate, especially the four on the left are, you know, a little bit uh, undesirable. But it's also the case that the back of Lower Norfair, it's in a little bit of an awkward spot here, as, uh, you know, we're forced to go back. No way anyone's going through uh, varialist, tankless Lower Norfair right now. So Glove is going to have the opportunity to probably end up collecting the spacer, although it will require, require more looking than Audra did. But we are, we've been pretty super light thus far, and Glove is going to be a little bit ahead on that, getting that fourth pack down there in Edicoons. Yeah, this beam combo, so 80 damage, that's almost what you get in, like, low ice. That's a... It's close, that would be 90. This is 80 damage, so it's not, like, really low, but it's obviously still lower than you're going to want for any boss, um, particularly like Ridley or Mother Brain. <laughs> yes. You know, it's also going to be the case that with that, uh, we're going back up Red Tower, that's the only way we can really go right now. Um, so Glove is also not going to be worried about the Red Tower checks. She'll be getting them pretty much in sequence again. We'll have to see if either our runner is really interested in tankless x-ray. Um, gravity does provide environmental damage reduction in dash, so we'll take half damage from everything in there versus no suits, but it's still very, very difficult, and we don't have an item backup right now. I, I would be amazed if either runner did that in this, because you know you're either going to get the major or a suit up at the top, so you go up to the top and then get a major or a suit, and then do x-ray or don't, depending on your confidence. But I'd be more inclined to say Glove would do that than Audra, but I'd, I kind of doubt either of them will. Yeah. No save right there at that little additional one. Oh yeah, you'd save after getting the, the top items if you're going to commit to x-ray here, I think. And there's a 3-1 uh, upper That's north much there. more appealing, yeah. At least the high jump area and this other portal are really enticing to check before you do the top of Red Tower, for sure. Yes. And again, only one tank. Like all, There's going to be like five tanks in Wreckship <laughs> or something insane like that. Yeah, I, that needs I'm Meridia. I'm where all these all tanks are. Like, to Croc my knowledge, every all seat, of the E-tanks. <laughs> right, like to my knowledge, uh, every full countdown seed has 14 energy tanks, no matter how many additional dash items may or may not exist. But as we found our way to Croc Door, it's a little Meridia Upper Norfair loop. But uh, we found one, two, we found six of them so far, which is not a lot. Yeah. I didn't, oh, well, seven. There's one in West Maria I hadn't tracked yet. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in the lack of the save from Audra in the uh, in the room one to the left of where they are right now. That save was added for this, this randomizer and uh, would have just allowed them to reset instead of this backtrack would have been faster. But... 
Yeah, with gravity, obviously, you're not worried about not being able to get back up. It's still a little mm -hmm. dangerous, obviously. You have only half damage reduction from the crabs. Um, so they would have well, done if you're gravity damage. jumping, you hit the crab without a suit because you're gravity jumping. <laughs> yeah, they they decided to no power reduction. bomb to kill all of them. As, yeah, we are back to a little bit of sync here at the elevator. Um, I was not paying close attention, but. Well, yeah, and there was some energy. Is there's our other charge upgrade? I wasn't paying attention in the croc portal for Audra as far as the energy ticking down. We do have a chance that gravity provides a nominal amount of heat reduction as two majors here. Wow, look at this sink. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a third? That would be quite something. No, just a missile. So. Don't expect either of our runners is really going to be interested in ice or tumble shaft here, especially with two of the three majors found. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, we're they, they can they can crystal flash if they really really wanted it to, <laughs> to make it through. Yeah, Glove especially having the ammo to do so, but yeah, uh, I, I think they'll just check down below and maybe not the croc escape. I would have checked that. Audrey is going to elect yeah, to do the, so. The SMZ three routing here. Just because if that's your major, you're, that that frees up so much time potentially having to check all of the wave speed, reserve area, ice beam, like upper north fairs. Heaven forbid, kind of spread out because it's just all these little <laughs> tendrils. Yeah, cathedral. Like it's not awful to have to check, but it's just so. I don't know. And here pieces. we're gonna see the benefit of. Well, potentially the benefit of Audra deciding to do Portal and then Business Center um, already knows about this. Be with the Space Jump, it's much, much, much better to traverse this area versus what Audra had to do. But uh, can just go back in the Red Tower and that Space Jump lets us get this X-ray check in with, you know, more safety than it potentially could have. But we still, we're running around tankless. We're almost 16, I mean, we're likely going to hit 16 minutes unless exactly this is the tank. But we would like you know, to more than double our energy at this point. Very, very much. <laughs> yeah, Glove's going to stay here. I don't know if you hunt this tank, but, like, maybe you look at Crab Super. I would I would bail on the E-Tank, um, personally. The, the areas give you so much more knowledge. That's the real benefit of being here. I crap hit. We're gonna lay a power bomb and kill this one. I'm almost certain. <laughs> I sure hope so. We can hopefully get this tight morph. Just gonna use another power bomb, especially with collecting one. You're gonna have plenty for the road. Um, so as is you know normal in the you know, five item area that is Red Brent Star, the goods are in Alpha and Beta power bombs. Audra is heading that way. Glove going to also have a chance to look at two portals, same as the top of Red Tower. We're going to get, aw, uh, didn't get that uppercut shot. But easy Red Tower climb. So we'll see what uh, areas we come to. And basically, we're only looking, like, we found all of the hubs, basically. We're looking for boss areas. And probably we'll get back to Criteria at some point. There are still three majors there. Mm -hmm. And. And three gonna, portals, yeah, seen them too. Here's two tanks. Like, the, the tank situation in this scene is really, really not fun. <laughs> There's the first one. We finally get it. 17 minutes. <laughs> this is definitely one of the more interesting starts I've ever seen. And there is going to be a major of beta power bombs. We're going to be totally fine. We've got a super to get in the door and a power bomb to break the blocks, as well as some cax here, which will refill our supers. Tank every 17 minutes, that gives us three for around the time we'll get some other brains. So that's that's all the runners need, right? It's all you could ever need in life. As we uh, as we see that Torian yes. is uh that's really good info to have. As really anytime you find the dead end portals, that's so good for making your decision sometimes of when to route the like the two sided areas like wreck ship, um, East Meridia, Lower Norfair, like you you know you're not gonna get stuck going all the way through just to hit Torian to have to double back and then come back through later. Uh, so that's actually huge info for Glove to have. Yes. Also the info that Croc doesn't have anything, that's probably something that'll be <laughs> One more e-tank. Okay, what are we going to see at Wreck Ship? It's going to be like, we're 
there's at least four majors outstanding and we do only have two areas left so like i'm freaking out about how many majors and stuff left but the tank numbers are just ridiculous that's not it come across yeah, our first is, boss uh... area that we can actually check the the boss mm -hmm. dracon's not good here but it's 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 just slow but, um it'll be interesting to see if audra like farms up a little bit on supers to prepare for a dragon i suspect they won't just because there's a, a higher chance that it's either vanilla or randomized to raid or fantoon anyway or it's ridley and it's just not doable no matter what you farm yeah especially because it, it's post save that you're resetting if it's basically ridley the super farm is a little bit less valuable than it could be typically you know even if you farm and you don't get ridley right away you're going to be in a position to you know use that later as we get we get a shuffle confirmed someone in chat was really? calling that and yeah finally like three three this is actually like about as good as you could have found here like you're gonna kill fantoon before we even find rick ship we know it's got quite a bit of stuff we want uh so yeah this is really good um, one tank, uh, Fantoon is what you would do in any percent new route, and you would not have a suit to, you know, produce <laughs> damage, so this would be comfy suit. for both runners. Right. If you're doing Fantoon with gravity suit, you, you're doing a different category. <laughs> right. Something, something GT something, code Something related. happens, yeah. <laughs> nice couple of Dopplers here in the first two rounds, Audra typically goes for a comfy three round, no two round, you know, seven Dopplers and such. Uh, did an oh, oh no. missed the missile One missile shy shot the missile too early so they got to deal with That's them rage yep yeah. one of the benefits of the starter charge obviously we have actually found both upgrades at this point but when you're playing starter charge you always have pseudo screw available as well as always having the special beam attacks available so you know you can use those to your advantage in situations that hopefully you don't encounter like in rage fan 2 but Nicely done, not taking any damage. I'm definitely hoping to stay at full health uh, because it'll give you a bunch of ammo drops, which is definitely what you're looking for. Or in the case that health and missiles are full, we're going to see like five total drops here because the game's mean like that. Yeah, it doesn't really give you any extra supers or power bombs, which is what they actually need. But that's good that wasn't enough. five, it was six. <laughs> that was almost exactly right. <laughs> The glove just barely behind going into the Fantoon fight right as Audrey leaves. Expect a quicker fight with hopefully no one rages and the uh the fun the fun outcome here uh is that the elevator portal here in Red Tower just goes to the front of Rex Ship. Or even the back, honestly. Neither is bad with the shuffled Fantoon already killed. Yeah, there could be also some meaner options, like maybe that's Upper Norfair or Lower Norfair, and you got to go back to Criteria to find your way to Wreck Ship. Yeah, the most likely outcome here is almost certainly that it's Criteria. We do need to find four connections back there. It's, yeah, Glove with a very quick Fantoon kill could barely even speak of its existence. Well, as uh, yeah, Upper Norfair, upper Norfair, that is where we are. With one tank that's outcome. doable, but it's really tight. Uh, space jump and. Extra beam damage actually helps a little bit. Get rid of the uh, the violas. Cut through to like try to make your way up to um, Bubble Mountain area, but it's kind of crappy. I was thinking the wave beam was a thing saving time because you don't have to gate glitch and you can just. Oh, that's true. You that go that way. Yeah, go to Nutella refill and and go that way. But you still really don't want to be there. That's kind of the yeah, problem. <laughs> you're not checking the items. You're just going through there to get to other areas. So Audrey's stopping to think for a minute what the fastest or best way. And they're just going to cut through the non-on-fire Red Brimstar instead. <laughs> right. The only thing that could, like, really, really, really be good there is, like, exactly Varia in Bubble Mountain, which is kind of insane. Okay, So uh, I like this. I was wondering um, if Audra was going to go all the way back to Criteria instead of checking these uh, other West Meridia portals that we saw Glove peak earlier. And... This seems like a, a great decision because you're not going to be close to this for a long time unless you just stumble into one of the other areas. Oh, is going forward and taking the longer way. This is. Oh, taking. This has to be the. Oh, this room's. 
No, it's this, heated. heated this direction. This, this is, is heated definitely direction. the worst way to be going. Yeah, I was he may need a crystal They went up in the left, like towards that farm room on the way to Bowl Mountain. That's what I expected them to do. That's that would have been my instinct. I don't know if that's actually the best, but this kind of tells me that they want to check wave beam on the way, which I don't think she's gonna be able to do that, frankly. Yeah, does she have enough I don't think she's even gonna survive. Oh, I, I didn't fight. realize the current Yeah, she's gonna have to refight Fantoon. That room's this is heated. not good. This is not good at all. Unless she There's gets no snow. surviving here. If she got there a little bit faster and got power bomb drops, like the power bomb drop from the dragon or Alcoon is almost guaranteed unless you're in health below level. 30 health. Um But that just wasn't quite enough. That's a really unfortunate death. Uh yeah, I think if she went through the Magnolite room, it would have been it would have been fine. It drained all of her health, but Magnolite or spiky acid snakes or whatever that room's called. Yeah, spiky acid snake tunnel. Best name. We are we, <laughs> we are now on parody with Audra detouring into this West Maria. I was going to say at the time that because of how you know it works with both being dead ends and there's no items that you want anywhere. Um, last location, this isn't terrible, but it's. It's worrisome throughout the seed. Like yeah. it kind of has to be really nice to you in order for it to work out well. But yeah, and, yeah, and knowing, of... sorry, and knowing those dead ends, like I said before, like you can make a more aggressive play or, or make a better informed decision of when to do, say, East Meridia or Lower Norfair, based on that. Yeah, all of our dead ends are now found on both runners' sides, so we are everywhere is two way accessible in some form or fashion. And the two ways cannot link to themselves. Correct. <laughs> Otherwise, you couldn't get in. <laughs> so yeah, we are finally going to be headed back to Criteria. We have power bombs now, so the mode is accessible. And there's, I mean, there is one more major here. It's decently low value, especially with the three we know are in wreck ship. Mostly available, you know, save speed loose. Oh, there's two still here. Two, two was... Yeah, we just got the morph and then we bailed. Morph and charge, yeah. Or morph and charge, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, my mistake on that. So we're going to look at moat. It's back of East Meridia. That's we have gross. two. So as well as there being an additional charge upgrade to up the major count to 17, there's also double jump or heat shield, which is making the count 18. So... Both of those are, like, Heat Shield in theory could be good, but, like, the tanks kind of are bad enough that you just want Barry in the seed, and Double Jump, we already have Space Jump, so... Yeah, if Heat Shield is, like, in Wreck Ship, and you hit all three E-Tanks on the way to it, and, like, you hit another E-Tank somewhere else, like, then you'd be happy about it, but otherwise you just don't care. It's a curious choice here. So there's three items at Gauntlet. There's 230 and Terminator on the bottom side. Obviously, Terminator, you can dip back in if you elect to do Gauntlet. But see if, yeah, just going to look like a Terminator check here. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the correct play. Maybe you check the back of Gauntlet, and if there's something good, you you know decide to go through it. But really, all they're looking for is, is various suit at this point, like Ice and ice or speed, maybe morph bombs to do the crystal flash clip to get the bot wound. Um, but do since it's shuffle bombs, you might not need, yeah, you might not need to get through bot wound, because you might just find Dragon somewhere. It's somewhat likely. Back of Gala was nothing, so these uh, these two majors are hiding out somewhere not not very friendly and also not peekable. You know, there's uh, yeah. shaft supers, the worst of them. There's landing side power bombs. There's Billy Mays all the way back at the bottom. Here's the front of East Meridia. Okay, so that's both East Meridia locations. That's that's nice to find. You Let's see what this portal is. If this portal's not something good, I think Audra might peek in and do like Aqueduct and the Sand Pits potentially. That's a few quick checks. No, it's not very good. Oh, it's also going to confirm and... that it's it's meme route to wreck ship to Kraid. I'm just gonna or no, it's meme route to. Yeah, it's me about wreck ship to the other side of Lorna first. Sorry, we already found Kraid. I'm a little silly, but yeah. yeah. Definitely the case. And yeah, the thing is, you would very, very much like to clear out this um, East Meridia right now because it's convenient. 
but not only do we not have the icer speed to make it through botswoon hallway we also cannot kill ridley like there's no way we're, unless we find exactly varia we're not killing ridley and even if we find varia it'd be pretty good with this uh charge beam combo There's one major. Major quickly. Yeah, Glove ended up electing to just go into the back of East Meridia when she saw it. So, gonna be coming in here in a little bit of this way. Um, but it looks like Audra might end up doing a sand pit and then going back down. Well, I think you still want to come out the front. Because either way, yeah, opinion, you want to the front. The back is so slow. Yeah. In my opinion, probably you just want to be going to wreck ship right now, given our knowledge. I think I, I would I would like to see Audra do the other sand pit as well. What what do we have left in, in uh, Upper North Air? Is there a major there still? I'm forgetting. Yes, there's one. There's one major. So if if they get like another E tank, then other Upper North Air is like actually doable even though it's still pretty bad well getting the nice right side uh snail clip a little bit faster than the middle little tunnel there is audra going back to the right yes we are going to see all of the currently accessible items here in east meridia as glove is going to see that this is popping her out on the other side of criteria this is this is quite the fascinating seed so far. And not going to be happy that the portal and item were checked in this order, given... There's a reserve and a power bomb. Where did you get that reserve? Yeah, the reserve's nice. The power bomb, probably not worth it for any reason. Or maybe it is. I, <laughs> I don't know. You're thinking, like, it's seven seconds, like... It could help Upper North Air. Like, that's the only reason you grab that, is Upper North Air Hell Runs, if gravity's there. Is probably what Audra's thinking. Like, okay, I'll grab this reserve, so that way when I Crystal Flash, I'll have an extra tank full of health to get my area at, like, speed booster. Yeah. Um... I love getting the gauntlet news and everything, heading back to check this other portal that we already saw is Upper North Air. We'll see if she jumps in or goes back through the sand pits. Probably we'll do the sand pit checks as well. Or if nothing else, farm up the health from the Kagos. We're saving. This could be a save for going to Bubble Mountain via Chronic Boost. That is the portal over there. You've got some Kagos to refill yeah. your reserve. It could also be a Crystal Flash Clip save. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. Yeah. Like you have it's... to not get Ridley or you have to get Varia if it is Ridley. Um, and there's only two checks between you and the boss here. It's just, it, you, you're still missing enough information, and there's still other, like, stuff that's plenty doable elsewhere. Yeah, Glove is going to do the Rick ship play. This is what I was thinking. But, of. I mean, like, if you're, like, extremely confident you're going to get this, like, instantly, like, third try, then it's not as bad. That's the other thing is it's so much harder without, like, bombs... You can get some visual cues or, or timing. I'm not really sure what Audra's using to time this, but it's just like instinct or there's a visual cue. Bomb explosion. I'm curious. Love to check the uh, old mother brain on the way down. We get this. We get the crystal flash clip. Very nice. We have um, definitely 10 supers because the max is 20, so it's not 18, which is I was thinking was possible. I was yeah. I was curious if Glove was gonna look at uh, Billy Mays. Looks like no. And there's, yeah, there's the extra major. It's double jump. <laughs> we don't need it. Space jump is just better. <laughs> yes. So what does Rickship have for us? Basically everything we could ever want, almost certainly. Um, it's kind of hard not to... Uh, they do exist. <laughs> <laughs> they do, in fact, exist. Uh, there's one of them. We have gravity, so this item is a lot faster than otherwise could be. Glove is continuing to collect supers. There's the E-Tank in East Meridia. If this is not Ridley, the routing of this is going to be very nice for Audra. Um, if it is Ridley, it's going to feel very bad. And uh, it's essentially just a 2 out of 3 to not be Ridley. But as you said when we checked uh, that Kraid boss, even Dragon's still not good, especially because we have 30 and 3 current 
to Yeah, and uh, they didn't, yeah, they didn't uh, refill ammo at the farm, which makes sense, because if it's crate, you don't need any more than three. Well, I guess you need one more to open the door here <laughs> to be able to do the quick kill normally. Uh, yeah. We are saving here. Let's see. This is the unfortunate thing about shuffled bosses and uh, finding Rickship late. Spooky, uh, spooky missile is quite spooky here. It's an energy tank, so if you took any extraneous damage, you would have been all right. Can we get a major here? No. So, space jump, shack tool, and plasma. Those are our three remaining East Meridia locations, and that was Ridley. I didn't even see it, but yeah, reset. No fade out is the immediate confirmation. Well, unless Fantoon is still available, right? Because they both have the no fade out. Right, but we already killed Fantoon. Right. So, uh, he's going to save the Batsun kill. Um, we have found all three E tanks already, given the knowledge of the maze one. So. The majors are hiding out. I don't know if you check the boss first or if you just continue checking items. Audra has given us the knowledge that it's definitely not uh, Ridley here, so Glove's in a good spot regardless. Um, so yeah, basically after left super, that's when you would start making decisions. And there are bombs. As Audra is doing what I thought they were going to do initially, which is not reset to the Coliseum save, but reset to the other save. Uh at hmm. the okay. aqueduct knowing that it's not vanilla oh. oh we're going back to the ship i don't think that oh, because it's Whoa. closer to it's closer to that elevator to meme oh right. it's closer to lost a reserve criteria power bombs that too did they lose they a reserve? reserve and need the e-tank after bot spoon could be useful too but right. it looks like they're just gonna grab i don't i don't understand this actually it's definitely interesting. You did just get confirmation that you technically don't need ice or speed. Um, mm -hmm. Which are the most valuable things you can find here. Plasma's obviously still pretty good. As well as uh, like high jump and stuff. But Love just a little fast on that makeup strap for Kraid trying to get the, the stand up. Or trying not to get stand up, actually. <laughs> she did get stand up, that's the problem. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what Audra's looking for here. Like, heat shield? Like... Because we don't have any different information than they do at this point, right? So, like, it can be... Like, they know that it basically has to be wreck ship at the, the meme route door. And the other option is find Varia and Upper Norfair. Those are, like, the one of the two things you want to do. Right. And, and uh, checking for majors. Yep. Billy Maze could have two out of two majors at this point. Uh, the only other option is the Shaft Super location. Uh, oh, no, I don't think Love checked 230, so there's also that. But 50% chance there's one major down in Billy Maze. Oh, no, 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 we already found one, so it's only we one. on the double jump. Yeah, we, we just four, grab yeah. it. It's there's one more major. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I guess... I guess you really only need one major, but seeing Glove check this E tank before doing the top of Wreck Ship, because there's two majors left, so she knows that there's at least one in the top of Wreck Ship. Um, right. I would have seen. I would have liked to seen her do that and then come through this way, take the portal to like, if it's Varia, then you come through this way to go to uh, Lower Norfair potentially with your Varia suit and clear that all out in one nice smooth. I guess if it's Varia there, you're just extra, extra fed up by getting to go right away. Yeah, the big thing about it is um, if you see, like, any major there, you know that the next major you see is it. If you're in a situation where, say, like, you know, this uh, right side attic item is a major, and you are looking at attic, Glove will now be in a position to confidently know that there's still a major outstanding. It's not at the very, very easy E-Tank spot. Yeah, the, I mean, the thing that, that, think about that, it. that somebody wise once said very recently in a Discord, maybe it was you, DJ, that <laughs> these items, uh, these items speed you up. So even if you get Varia, getting like majors makes you go faster. So like, <laughs> sometimes you do the slow bowling, and oh no, all I got was speed booster that's going to speed me up for the last 20, 30 minutes of the race. Oh, maybe nice clip that it. final one. 
Like, yeah, it's not I'm always like you, you get area and you go with the worst go mode you have imaginable. But even that, even if, even like the crystal flash clip Augur did to get to Bot Moon, that's a lot slower than just running with speed. <laughs> I think my exact words may have been "good items are good." Who knew? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Audrey is now down here. Uh, so, um, an unfortunate death on Glove's side and some unfortunate boss luck on Audrey's side have put up both of our runners in a bit of a pickle here. Um, and the seed is just, it's never been kind at pretty much any juncture, especially given the tank situation. And there's various oh, suits. That's interesting. <laughs> So speed is now required. This is not the original dash where uh, Spazer gets you through to that item. Bombs, but yes. Oh, was it bombs? I yeah. Spazer. Spazer was the uh, other stuff. I don't waterway know. in Batwoon, Yeah. Ancient history. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been before I even competed in any of these. That's really interesting. So now Absolutely that uh, criteria checks have a little bit more <laughs> weight. And Audra knowing that, you know, criteria um, power bombs at least is nothing, could be useful information. Yeah, like Audra has, well, no, it's, I was thinking like you could do like the cheekiest, like leave of wreck ship and like go check Billy Maze and then come back, but you have to re go through attic and it's kind of bad still. But if this isn't speed, you're re going through attic later. It's all bad. Everything is bad. Speed could be at like Norfair Reserve. There's there are no good outcomes anywhere around the seed. Yeah, you just do bowling and hope the speed booster is right next to it. If it's not, you're forced because you can't go to Lower Norfair. You can't go out the back door um, of, of Wreck Ship here. So you're gonna go to Billy Mays, well, or just completely skip the lower criteria and decide you want to check Upper Norfair or wherever else we've orphaned, like, one major. Yeah, there's also the absolutely disgusting, heinous, unspeakable option of Shack Tool. <laughs> we don't have Grapple or Ice, thinking. but we could get yeah. it. <laughs> I don't think anyone's thinking about that, except for you, I guess. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, you know, I was like, well, we know Dragon's in Lower Norfair, and now Plasma and Space Jump can't have Varia, which we knew as soon as we saw Kraid. But, like, I was thinking about the fact that there's still a major at East Meridia, and it could be one of those two places, or it could be in the third place, which is actually in East Meridia proper. Not hanging out elsewhere or remotely there's accidentally. The yeah. Double well, does wait for the two majors up. are in the same room. The two majors are in the same room in Rick Ship. I'm a little surprised and... she picked it up, I guess, but you're probably gonna face plan it later anyway, and uh if for s maybe she's thinking if for some reason she hits plasma on the on her way through East Meridia. Oh yeah, because she hasn't done bot wound, so maybe like if plasma's behind bot wound. She gets to X-ray Dragon or something, maybe. Dude, this is. I've run out of words for the I... seed. It's just, it's something it's, to experience. It's still, it's pretty linear. Still, like all, everything, all things aside, like it really is forcing not a whole lot of choice. Like the runners have made different choices, and they just keep getting funneled back together, and then they have slight information gaps or, or differences in like what rooms they're in. Slight ammo differences, etc. Glove does have the ability. So if we don't get exactly speed up here, uh, potentially Ice Beam could put Glove in a position to do East Murder, which is like she's got 45 supers, five tanks is very difficult. But if you do both sand pits, you do get a reserve. There's the grapple. Oh, there's the shack tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because where was the that? Devil and he the, reserve, there, the reserve was in the sand pit, you said, right? So that would yes. that makes Ridley very, very much easier. Like that that reserve tank is worth like two E tanks, basically, because it as long as Ridley dies before your reserve pops, you survive. That is the really mm -hmm. nice thing. Full reserve, of course, but I believe yeah, Audra assuming it's filled, <laughs> didn't peak this, but it's just, I mean, gonna get the information regardless. Uh, this is like just all kinds of nonsense we're going back up we're gonna have to where's the back of wreck ship it's up to... lower norfair <laughs> we're gonna be it's lower we're gonna do... you're not we're getting the back down... right we're gonna fall down climb three times in this seed <laughs> yep 
And then three ups too. Three down, three up. Well, the, no, the last time you could just go to back of the lane and I guess come out. Go out the yeah, front. That's, that's true. Is that any better? Everything's it's better, oh, but no, it's you not a lot better. Through, you definitely go through LN because it puts you um, green Brinstar and then red Brinstar. And then yeah, probably that's the last thing you're doing. <laughs> it's a giddy smurdy in there. Every oh my goodness, what is happening? So the game we love. <laughs> well, I think what's the most efficient if it works out is for both runners to just do East Meridia first, like just do Ridley without the various suit is actually way better than having to make another trek to East Meridia, but that is hard yeah. given their, you know, like loadouts, especially Otter only having 20 supers. I'm not really sure where Glove got the extra 25 supers. <laughs> Think but a that's lot a big of difference for doing shields Ridley. Audra, I don't yeah. think, did the uh, attic missile. Uh, lead that power bomb is going to hopefully make it back up in time to see the unfortunate news um, <laughs> that not only have there been shambles thus far, but there are still shambles in the future of our runners. Oh, yeah, the Etikun supers had two. Thank you. I forgot about oh, that. Yeah. Oh, and there's one. See, so yeah, and, and Atra also skipped the Maze E tank, which is not gonna be, not gonna be your favorite thing ever. And yeah, Glove is gonna end up doing these. Well, hopefully not. Glove is gonna forget that she saw a double jump and think there's another major outstanding that's not good. Yeah, I, for her position in this race. That seems to be what's happening. Otherwise, there's no reason to do this. Like, the supers aren't worth because you got enough for Ridley, and with this damage output, the super doesn't help you from other brain at all. So. Right. Definitely, uh, she's trusting the numbers on screen more than her memory. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, it's possible it's so that she's that. considering a various... Like, I want this it's possible she's considering a various skip. It is possible. I mean, there are four tanks there's in no LN. There's no e You don't just I mean, check there's... these just for a reserve. Well, I'm, well I'm, I'm saying, like, people are talking about ammo. Like, are, your ammo's probably already good enough? I don't know. It's, uh, there's... No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't know. But even if you're going to do that, you check areas that have E-Tanks, which is like the one in West Meridia or something. You don't, you don't grab it. The number of places that, that, that are is... very silly. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, Lord also has like all the remaining tanks. <laughs> Love doesn't know where the one in East Meridia is. Obviously, yeah. no one looked at the okay West Meridia. That'd be okay if you could do, if you could do back to back, uh, Lower Norfair. I guess you can. Can. <laughs> it's just kind of in a bad spot. Yeah, if the, if the E-Tanks are all on the right, then it's fine, but you can't just bet on that. I don't think. <laughs> I mean, you can you... probably you can bet on at least yeah. one. Be having zero is extremely unlikely. Oh, as well, Love we'll looked scene. like she wanted to get that power bomb up and couldn't. Yeah, that we're gonna might see. be the that might be the indecision of like, wait, do I start getting more crystal flashes for suitless? Going back into East Meridia, so Glove is also yeah. going to be doing a crystal flash clip. Does have bombs for it though. Yeah, she didn't do the sand pits yet though, so right. She's gonna do those first, I would imagine. Yeah. This seed is not done toying with us yet, which is good because four, four and one, or I guess she'll have five E tanks and one reserve after the the, the Bantuin one. So as long as she gets that crystal flash clip, uh, that too much difficulty, she'll be in okay shape for Ridley. Gonna be a little bit unfortunate. Audra probably wishing they had not reset and kept that Botsun kill. <laughs> well, actually, no, it doesn't matter because Botsun may stay dead, but the blocks to get through do not, like, they're still there. You would still have to Crystal Flash Clip. Yeah. <laughs> Which. We and might Dragon's be... in Lower Norfair, so you want. So weird, but that would be very funny to see someone Crystal Flash Clip through a, a dead boss wound. Never seen that before. I don't know why we're going back this way. I'm just going to state that out loud. Who, for Audra? Or... Yes. I think they might just be doing East Meridia. Like, get out of the way now, because you're going to be so if far away tank, later. Though, you have two the bombs. One and they can get the the reserve and the E-tank at Batwoon. I guess oh, these are they do have to refill power, power bombs. bombs. Yeah. I guess the ship probably would have been the smartest then your health well health's gonna be four cards love doesn't pick up that reserve love, by the way not getting the reserve that's but she doesn't know it's really like we do yeah oh i guess it's we're talking about shock too that's also yeah 
the more yeah, sense making reason to be coming back here. Yeah. <laughs> it's Glove, which Glove is not doing. Unbeknownst to her, there is the chance that you crystal flash clip and you end up finding speed because ice is like the upper north for your item, basically, right? Or even check tool. There's, I mean, there's there are ways that this pays out, which it seem unlikely to me that this is going to be a very, very difficult spot. Five tank Ridley is doable, but you have to make very, very few mistakes. You don't have high jump to make that easier to do, as crystal flash clip was not <laughs> difficult for her. Yeah. It is a little bit easier for most people with with uh, gravity suit and morph bombs, but a little bit easier is still really difficult, and you really have to <laughs> figure out that timing and get good cues and uh, put a lot of practice. the bad pattern. Thank you, Vox. Oh, it's what is? So what does Otter do if it's not here? Go to here, single chamber, which is right next to you. Ridley. Yeah, I guess that's true. Blast! A major. Okay. Well, extra damage. Uh, Audrey will be able to microwave Dragon and pretty much guarantee to get through that with, like, no damage, which will be nice. Nice and quick fight. Microwave. And the second bot will do, also yeah. get microwaved. <laughs> so... The upper okay. door for item is definitely speed. It's the only love is left. love is gearing up for that Ridley. She she's saying right here like I can do five and five and zero Ridley five E tanks no reserves thirty supers just need to make sure I have the supers. Yeah. So if Glove can pull this Ridley off, um, it's really just down to whether or not she also checks Shack tool. I think she's probably in the lead if she doesn't. If she can do both of those things, pull off Ridley and not do Shack Tool. Otherwise, I still frankly don't have any idea where we are in this race. Cause I, I mean I, I think, think I think Audrey knows the speed the is an upper north. Maybe order. maybe maybe there's a miscue and she has to try it a second time, but this is definitely something she can do. Yeah. The hardest thing is that in cases like you were talking about earlier, Ace, when you have a reserve, sometimes you can take a little hit and as long as you get grabbed, like will be okay uh with no reserves and it's all you think like you pretty much can't get hit um, yeah the, the fire is fine that's pretty minimal damage with gravity suit so like she can get the fire breath that's not too bad maybe yeah, one blow or like a slow here. grab i was expecting kegel farms but I... the, pro I'm, the problem is we've skipped so many tanks at this point they've only got three which is not a great amount. Audra is a little known for lower tank hull runs, but at 51 minutes, you would like to not be low tank on your hull runs. <laughs> but I don't, I don't see another play other than going Love to miss, upper north here. Love missing at least one super there, getting hit by the tail. I think she missed one before that. I don't know how many she came in with, but must have been like 33, 35, something around those numbers. So nice job. I was gonna, I was gonna say I my brain told me that that's enough. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Actually, that's not perfect. gonna. She got health bombed. Yeah, I would check the major, but maybe she's just thinking. I, well, it can't be varia, so I guess it can't be varia. It can't be speed, but it, it can't could be speed. Be high so jump. It could be saying, ice. Yeah, or plasma screw attack. Yeah, all which speed things up, but be. not by a lot. Plasma or screw speeds up lower north air a good amount. Yeah. So we're gonna have to see yeah. how really the really the each e tank there will be kind of nice too. <laughs> yeah. Just because your health is low and it allows you to be pretty aggressive on things. Yeah. So right now I would say Glove is in the better spot. Um, Audra is almost certainly gonna be the first to speed and thusly the first to Varia. But that has to do East Radio, which Glove doesn't. Glove is gonna just. And like you said, with the routing, you don't want to get Varia before you do East Meridia. Yeah. Just a very big backtrack. Yeah. With that said out loud to myself, Glove's in a much better spot, especially without doing check tool here. I agree. Yes. Yeah. Andre going waiting to damage yeah, down.
you know, more than likely Glove is going to do the same thing, ship refill, and then just head to Upper North Fair. Is, 35 there, super is there another area with a major we've forgotten? Or is it... No. Is it it's here. Up here. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely here. Because So we're going to get speed here. We're going to get Varia. After that, Spring Ball is collected on the left tracker. So we're going to have... There's Ice, High Jump, and Screw. And there's three majors in Lumen Warfare. So yeah. Speed's here. Somewhere. It could be Cathedral. It could also be Ice and Crumble. We didn't look at those earlier yeah. because we've never had any E tanks at any point in the seed ever. They could have got to Ice Beam, Crystal Flash, and then got out. <laughs> I think. True. Um. Well, with no tanks, maybe not. I'm really is not that, sure. Is that doable? I mean, if you get like good drops from the uh, the Novas on the way in. The... There is the E tank, so Audra. Well, now Audra can probably do Ridley before Varia. Good. Oh yeah, even with know, the Bonfoon E tank, one. it was doable. Even four one, yeah, four one is better than five zero. And Glove showing that off really nicely. The five zero fight. Let's see if we could have avoided most of these hard runs. Nope, it's not here. We do have Speedless Speedway in our uh, toolkit. We do have Wave and Plasma and Wave and Spacer for Glove. If Speed doesn't give us its ans our answer here. <laughs> but you'd probably rather go... Well, rather in the sense that you get an item check if you do Reverse Cathedral. This is all just <laughs> so silly. Where we are, what we're doing, how we've come to this place. Will Speed be vanilla? No, it's well, just it's outside. <laughs> you still go in the room anyway to yes. be able to use it properly to get out. Another reserve. I think if they'd known there was a reserve, they probably would have gotten it, honestly. Just for extra safety on Ridley. I kind of disagree. It's weird to have more than one tank, and you have to like use the extra mental energy of remembering to like manually drain it down to 100. Otherwise, you don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll see. Globe does have the ability to go to speed first. Um, Andre went to wave first and then North Air Reserve. So a little bit unfortunate there. I was going to check the, the cool item, the singular one over here on this side. It is just a missile. So, yeah. What I expect here, unfortunately, you're... Well... I think you just go into East Meridia and you farm. It kind of sucks, but ships farther away than you would like. Even saving a power bond here. That tells me that Andre is going to farm in East Meridia. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, or, yeah, this is actually probably smarter than all of that, because you have so many supers. You're not really worried about stuff. So yeah, Glow's probably first locationing the speed. It's going to be very nice for her. I don't think you come in here and not do this check first. It seems kind of silly, but you you have very, very many options, especially at this point in the seed. Okay. Probably... I mean, one power bomb's not a lot, but it's all you need, especially with... I mean, you have bombs, so you actually don't need any. Hopefully it's not to get very... It's so much worse routing, but... Yeah, it, yeah we're just going to get very... Uh, well, that's maybe it's kind of not terrible, but it still kind of is terrible because then then they have to either do another climb to get to the or even no. spark the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah coming back elevators. out. Elevators are slow. Yeah, and yeah, and I mean, if you're coming back through wreck ship, that kind of sucks. And if you're going out the front. You're gonna be farther away from. You're gonna be really far away from East Meridia. It's all bad. I think uh, the chat is mocking me when I said the glove first location <laughs> speed, which is fair because it is very, very not wholly accurate. I think we first location morph <laughs> <laughs> and missiles, and that's honest. about it. <laughs> Yeah, so answer your question, chat. The back of Rick's ship is the 
front of Lower North Fair? Yep. It also makes it. Maybe you just come out the front and you do. How do you, how do you do anything? Well, Audra's gonna, gonna be better off, I think. Going, going back to back. Of, Audra's gonna yeah. definitely go out the front of her ship here, and then just do back to back LN. Um, which means they still have to go through Green Brin to get to it, but like that's the LN part's smaller, and it kind of makes. It uh, also just I don't know why we're getting the sea tank, no. but we're getting it. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> just thinking about it. <laughs> Maybe they were just right. remembering, like, I checked something, something here that was maybe good at the time. Do I still want it? <laughs> what was it again? With the plasma and the various who to be acquired, we are... What are we... What's going on? No. We need power bombs. That's what's going on. You need one. Oh, that's what's going on. Power bombs. Audrey was checking to see if it was power bombs at that item. Okay. That makes sense. They know what they're doing more than we do. Yeah, the enemies in this room are better for power bomb drops. Yeah, than that's one of those things that if they thought about it a little earlier, like the bowls that are in wreck ship, like you could just go one room off of the main shaft, farm the bowl that's on the in the sponge bathroom. That's that's the spot to do that. But yeah, there is a power bomb. There we go. Which bomb is the only one you need? But the uh, the Chozo statue is just power bomb blocks. That's what we needed that for. So yeah, pretty commanding position here for Glove. Going to be less than a minute behind Avaria, something like that, and already has Ridley dead. Just quite the backtrack here, positionally. But no one, no one feels good about what's going on right now. No one at all. It's not possible. Yeah, it's going to be an hour in before go mode for either runner, with one or two bosses left to kill. That's that's not a great time for these settings in general. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is why Shuffled is my least favorite of the four. Because everything, like, things are just so disparate. Like, right? We, Glove doesn't even know that the East Meridia Major is actually in East Meridia, right? We had to kill Phantom elsewhere. Things are just weird in Shuffled. <laughs> Shifted is superior, in my opinion. Surprise isn't superior? Well, Shifted is strictly like superior. Surprise. surprise is different. I like Surprise. It's definitely it's, its own beast, though. I like it and I don't like it because it, it feels a little bit sad to, like, gear up for a boss and then you never see that boss anywhere. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't need Baria because I didn't even find a Ridley. It would have been fine. <laughs> so, various suit acquired, and like I said, Glove is right here on the tails. Getting carried comfortably by our friend the bowling chozo um and we're not we're not coming back every like the routing kind of the routing this way does let you do back to back east radio which is maybe kind of okay you don't have to kill baldwin again which you know is, feels better i guess oh yeah no power bombs can't even get out that way and that was a health drop what is the drop <laughs> what are the chances of that is that one of those like 0.25 percent i know it's low um, it's probably one of those like two percent. It's four percent max. I know it's one of those really right. Ones. I think it's like a there's some drops that really have. Oh, and yeah, not, regardless okay. of which way you went out, you oh, do yeah. need ex at least you need exactly one power bomb, regardless of which way you go because this is the front of Ellen. So, uh, post the elevator room, you do need oh, right, EB. But if you were just going this way to Ellen, there's crabs, so this wasn't it wasn't yeah. actually. The better place to do it. And well, the kagos it, are well, bowls better than the kagos, but the crabs are. You don't expect to not get the power bomb there, and then you freak out. So it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Like you're just supposed to get a power bomb there because that's what those enemies are for. They drop power bombs. <laughs> we all know this to be fact. Yeah, it's also like we said, it's an hour and two in. You're not feeling good about anything that's happened in the seed. And uh, you're just hoping that your opponent shambled worse than you did, which is going to be true for one of them. You know, that was a really nice short charge that Audra didn't store, but like, I don't know if that was on purpose or that they were thinking about like <laughs> doing a lava spark from lava spark that was an option that is rare in area yeah. randomizer. That would have been really cool. 
you both need the correct facing door and the you know the runway but space jump is faster i think because of the crash animation but it's cool yeah so yeah, that's why kpdr do do, doesn't do kpdr doesn't do the lava spark yeah so our runners are going to be very close to each other in that beautiful little northern music but once laura is done glove is just going to run to turian and Audra's going to have to run back to East Meridia, which both portals are in Criteria. And uh, Crab is by Red Tower, and Red Tower is how you get into West Meridia. Or no. Red Tower is how you get into Upper Norfair, which is how you get into West Meridia. <laughs> Every time I think things can't be worse than I think they are, I'm wrong. That, that almost made sense. <laughs> like, in theory, you would think that you could get from Red Tower to West Radio, right? Like, your brain just tells you that'll happen. Nope. Yeah, there's a, there's an intermediary step that you just kind of shortcut. Because you don't need to remember. It's hard to remember every single connection. So you just remember, like, oh, this is how I get to this place. And you forget there's a whole nother, like, segment that tucked in there. Yeah. So There's a spark that is faster. Shout out to Pillar Spark. <laughs> used a little bomb spread again audra has been managing this ammo um to varying degrees of success <laughs> with the the drops being what they are but we do have bombs so you're not really too worried about things and uh, there are some pretty good power bomb enemy drops here in lower north fair whether the fire fleas or those enemies in the pre lava spark we are checking stuff there's quite there's some goodies down here right all three are nice. amazing Funnily, screw attack is the least good of them, considering we are in lower Norfair already, so... Especially for Audra. Utility. With Plasma, you can already hitbox the key hunters, like... Yeah. So, screw attack has a lot more utility for Glove, but... Only while they're here Ooh. in LN. New route strat there to kill those key hunters, both to escape some damage and also lower the lag for this power bomb you're about to see here at the bottom of the room. Nicely done. Here is our final boss, Dragon. Yes. We have sparking at our in our tool set. We have grapple kill, and we have an almost fully powered microwave um, on Audra's side, not on Glove's side. Yeah, Glove surprisingly not checking uh, power bombs of shame. She's but, very much uh, one of the I'm in go mode and I'm going to go people um, more so than some people, I think, in my experience. Still would think that with the possibility of, of Plasma being there for her, like that's such a huge damage increase. I don't, she's got 50 supers. Maybe that's not such a big difference. It's it's yeah, Plasma's it's, it's better for this fight and it's probably better it's for better. Mother Brain, but yeah. like not by a ton. But yeah. I s definitely I don't even Is Ice the best item they can find? It's Probably. Oh, absolutely. Nobody wants to do Metroids without ice. That's just... That just feels bad. Yeah, and it's late for High Jump to be super time-saving. It would be comfy, but it's not, like, great. Because, like, time-wise, where ice yeah. has a lot of time save in front of it. Like, Baby Skip is great, but it's, like... Kind of gets overblown sometimes, the impact that that has. Yeah. You save more time in Turian with Ice Beam than with High Jump. Like... Even if you're saying I can't do baby skip without high jump, and I can do it every time perfectly with it, like because <laughs> Metroids are just so much faster. So supers are not worth <laughs> ice beam. 750 damage is uh, what is this beam combo? 24 shot for the brain? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're gonna check this final out of here. That's not that's, worth. Don't get yeah. that. 
<laughs> I mean, the health okay. is a little bit low here, but yeah, they have the reserve and they can hit box. That was yeah. a nice hit box on the third one. Like that was a really nice. That's hitbox. literally the only place you're going to use that is those three key hunters. Yeah. And then I guess there's no Zeb skips, so you're not turning it off for Tori, and you're just well, yeah, no ice step skips. So you're maybe like bonking all the Metroids out of your way on accident instead of gathering them in the pile to power bomb. So like that's definitely what I do when I still have screw attack on a Torian. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have some very calculated like uh, spin breaks. So yeah, Audra is going to take this into the tube portal in Red Tower. From there, you can go to Crab. That is right next to the back of Forgotten Highway uh, on the East Radius side. So it's less bad than it could have been traversal wise but it's still it's not as good as just taking this to turian which is what glove's gonna do uh, this is the check that the glove is going to pick this up i guess the call for leodox room being a screw attack benefit just true. I guess that's true. Yeah, especially without high jump, I suppose. With high jump, you don't use the iframes and you don't really think about it unless you mess up. It's good for recovery. Yeah, here is the divergence here. Audra into East Radio needs to kill a Ridley with not a lot of current health, but there is a health refill if you really want it, and there's. You're gonna get full supers if you farm all these cacks along the way. I don't know why we power bombed for fun. Die green burn star power bomb blocks. Thinking about Atticoons, you know. Ooh. That was Screw attack, usefulness, weird. because we messed up our speed. Oh, what, uh, yeah. So what ha what happened there is Glove well, made the mistake of killing that first enemy. So she took damage from the enemy further into the room and then because if you damage yourself on that first enemy on the ground, you just run in, just hold right. Like, it gives you enough time to get the blue suit without doing any, like, taps or stutters or whatever. Right. If you get hit by the second enemy, you don't have enough time, just barely, so you can't get through the blocks. There was a little farm there in that room. I have absolutely no idea what it's called. Maybe the butterfly room? Butterfly room, yeah. Uh, I said absolutely no idea as I remember what it was called. It's funny how my brain works. <laughs> but yeah. Glove here. Just going to head to Upper Norfair, which Red Tower will take you to the Business Center side. And the other side of Business Center is, in fact, West Meridia. That's where we need to head here to end our game. In Turian, we will get a full refill of health, ammo, even reserves. And yeah, that's going to be the beginning of the end. Uh, <laughs> here we are. It's going to be like 111, 112 when we get in there. You know, with the spoiler log, there's a lot better ways to do this seed without one. Like <laughs> deciding to do upper warfare in this seed where there faster. were never any tanks is just kind of like no. <laughs> yeah, with the spoiler log, it's 30 minutes faster, like easily. <laughs> Here's Ridley. We are blasting the Space Pelican with as many supers as we can, as quickly as we can. Andre looks like not going to check this item. Power bombs are going to be our weapon of choice against these pesky little Metroids. They have 500 health, missiles do normal damage, supers do double, and power bombs do half, but they have to be frozen to take missile damage. That's why it takes two and a half power bombs if you double hit. No real worry here, danger wise. Just try to be fast and try to not. Convince yourself that the dot done is coming any moment, because especially for Glove, they are firmly in the lead here. Yeah, even on a bad seed, you start she, thinking she's like in the lead here. Sorry. Even on a bad seed, you start thinking at like 110, like all right, the seed was bad. I I understand why they didn't finish yet, but it's got to be any second now. 
like yes. this is when you start thinking about it like i know i've had awful seeds where you know you're at like 55 minutes and you're like well there's no way they're finishing in the next five minutes <laughs> some seeds can do that but now you're still starting to sweat yep and our other option into less radio here audra is probably gonna go to crock door Maybe, maybe you also. Yeah, uh, I think you go crack door because you don't have to walk, ride the elevator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Slava dive is red tower. Yeah. yeah. Change down. No baby skip. With speed and a no high jump. Yeah, to clarify in chat, you do get full health and ammo in area randomizer just because uh, it would otherwise be really tedious to like farm or go back to the ship to refill sometimes and kind of just making it also fun. It's <laughs> <So, laughs> kind of the point. Like, yeah, it's fun to watch them suffer a little bit, but like that's just tedious. Nobody wants it's to also do the that. case that you know it's randomizer and sometimes like in this seed you don't have ice if you have ice like you can pretty much always go into Torian and be fine if you don't like farming any of the ammo like there's good places for all of them and there's bad places for all of them right like if you want to farm power bombs you find some crabs you find some you know those i don't those enemies in rook ship like there are places where you can get power bomb drops but most of the like big farm bugs low power bomb drop chances for supers like the lower Norfair bugs are pretty good. The rest of them kind of aren't. It's just, it would be bad. Yeah. Nice uh, speed zeb skip from Glove. First try, we got a couple of super snaps for me. Yeah. Care a little bit, but not a ton. Um, did a little bit of, maybe maybe missed one of the snipes. Or yeah, 210, counted. I have no idea how many uh, charge shots this is, but half, two thirds of the fight's gonna be ammo anyway. Yeah. Pure charge, it's 85.666. I did that calculation the other day. I thought you were going to say you just did it in your head right now. I was going to be very impressed. <laughs> That's the only reason I know it exactly. So you have this exact beam combo and no ammo, you need to shoot 86 times. But hopefully, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the map idea. Yeah, so it'll be like maybe what, 15 shots or something? The ketchup should be coming by now. <laughs> well, a fourth of that is like 22 or something like that. But I don't yeah. know how far into ketchup this is. Yeah. We'll be quicker on the Mother Brain front, given the plasma being collected, but we are not going to save an entire Mother Brain fight. And then some, obviously. So, into the cutscene is going to be <laughs> taking this one home in a, you know, maybe it's not one you write home about, but you are going to take it home and throw it in the closet and throw your dirty laundry on top of it and never think about it again. Okay, this is a question I also have. There's plenty of runners around in chat. Um... I've seen people that just damage down and take the baby right where it is, and I've seen people do what Audra does, which is go a little bit to the left. And I always do it that way, just go left, like, while getting drained down. I don't know which one's actually faster, but this one seems better to me, but I don't actually know. Any input, Ace? Uh, I think it depends on how low your health gets. Like, if you have time to, like, get some good momentum, a couple space jumps, and turn around like Audra did, that I think is better. Like, if you have, like, one tank or something, but if you have, like, one energy exactly, like, you just jump, because you're not going to get anywhere, you're just going to get grabbed, and then be facing left, lose the 40 frames, whatever, like... I don't know all the specific circumstances, but... If you got 12 tanks and you're damaging down, you're not going to make it zero fast. That's true. We did get the blue, but no speed up skip with the charge beam that they have. Andre not really caring about that too much. But Baby has been destroyed by the evil mother brain. Final parting wishes for us to have this ridiculously overpowered hyper beam. Does even more damage than the full beam combo. Only a little bit, though. It's not, it, 
ridiculously really overpowered is maybe a step too far, but since that, since sensationalization is in, right? Mother Brain 3 fight is now over. We're gonna destroy that meatball for good measure. <laughs> it's the most overpowered item outside of Morph Ball. <laughs> so, yeah. Nobody ever says that that's the, that's the most overpowered item in the game. Well, power is a strange word for it. You know, it's the most useful <laughs> by a lot. But, yeah. Almost the entirety of the Mother Brain fight behind, which is <laughs> given the nonsense that we have incurred pretty close uh, for this one, but yeah, glove into the escape. There's the screw attack utility, especially with space jump. You can kill these pesky little pirates on their way up. Shout out to speed movement. Your jumps are exactly as high as you expect every single time. I can confirm with the utmost certainty that this will not be the slowest win thus far of the tournament. Largely because I myself had a slower win. I've had a slower... I've been beaten by an opponent with a slower time, so I can vouch for that as well. <laughs> but yes, Glove is going to take this one yeah. with an official race time of 1 hour, 19 minutes, and 41 seconds. This was GG's quite to the adventure we have all been on together on this Sunday afternoon. But Glove is going to be victorious. And with that, uh, after three weeks, top three seats all have one loss already. <laughs> Yes, there is our winning runner in the commentary booth with us, GG's Glove. Or maybe maybe you don't feel GG's, but you did win. <laughs> uh, you know, it's... Uh, I, I'm really disappointed with a lot of how I played this seed, but uh, depending on how you define it, this is like my first ever win against a top player, so that's pretty meaningful. But yeah, I... It's just like when you are racing, uh, especially against someone who you know is really good, you do some stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I have no defense for that Upper North Fair one tank hell run. <laughs> like, what the hell? I mean, you could have made it if you went theory? the other way. No, yeah. I, it has, I, I know. I the just like. Direction you went? Yeah, <laughs> I thought I thought that I had forgotten which side of that room was heated, and I was like, "Oh, okay, the room must not be heated on this side." And I've got it reversed in my head, and she knows what no. she's doing. It'll be fine. And then it wasn't fine. <laughs> no, I was just. The and it's so funny of the if I had like fire emo because you were literally on fire. It was perfect, poetic. Uh, uh, uh like the seed. The seed was nasty, right? Like, there's no getting around that. It. It gated uh, Varia behind a pretty silly path, um, and there was, in my mind, no feasible way to do Suitless LN, really. I mean, you have to clear places that don't have majors that have tanks, including West Meridia and Croc. And yeah, also exactly. also probably run into at least one of the tanks in Lower Norfair, which... Yeah, just... I don't think either of the uh, what's that called? Fireflee? But Fireflee, I think, like, statistically probably had one. Probably, yeah, but not guaranteed. There are four items on the left side, and no one checked Ridley, which is a yeah, well, item. Yeah, well, it, it was a little bit intense. I wanted to get out of there. Yeah, it makes sense. Sure. And, and I also knew a... that it wouldn't be speed, so it was like... Because, like, okay, it, at that point, you are legitimately thinking about, like, okay, am I going to try and, like, hobble together some tanks to do this LN? I jumped um, GT yeah. Supers, lol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, where was Ice? I missed it. I also just missed it. I committed to one. seeing it this time, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, if I had Screw, 
Clearly, ice was a GT missiles. That's wait, so ice was GT missiles and high jump was GT super. Are That's you kidding? hilarious? That's, That's so absolutely I'm hilarious. Actually, gonna cry. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Uh, but like, uh, it's you know, I I complained right because my first two rounds, I got vanilla map seats. And this was your. This was and, not vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I, the settings I got the previous two times were so boring. And, you know, like, I think... For, first off, for, like, full countdown is already pretty volatile. Uh, but this is... Y you know, I... I in, in a sick way, I enjoyed this seed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes when they're bad, like, you can't help but laugh at them, right? And, yeah, it, And you exactly. still made, like, some really good plays. Like, I was really, really, I really liked your decision to go through East Meridia when you did. Like, I'm sure that felt good at the very least, like, when you saw Ridley, five tanks, no reserves, and you crushed it. Like, I, I think going through East Meridia, I don't, I, I think with so many Criteria portals unknown for me, I think that was actually a bad decision. Um, but I was thinking, okay, if this is somewhere I can't go, then I'm doing the suitless CF. But then I was like, I don't really have the tanks to cobble together a Ridley fight. But yeah, you mean when you so went I'm relying back on getting front? them in in East Meridia. You mean when you went through like back to front? I don't or... think I had. Did I? Did I have four tanks at that point? No, no, we you didn't. I was just about. saying, when, once you saw Varia and you knew where it was and you got the speed, instead of going and getting the Varia first, you just went and did East Meridia, did Ridley, then yeah. went and collected your Varia. Like, that was, I think that was a really good decision. That was actually a, a difference. Audra opted to go through, get the Varia first, and then do, um... Oh, okay. Do East, East Meridia back to front to then end up near Lower Norfair. Yeah, see, that that was the thing, is I was like, sort of, everything routes nicely if I can get um, East Meridia out of the way, so it makes sense to do that. And, like, there is a non-zero chance that I find speed, right? And ice yeah. is the item that is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it... <laughs> there, yeah, there were some, there were a couple decisions that I wasn't proud of. And there were a couple moments in this race, like anyone who's been in a race this long can tell you after a certain point, you you're like, what's Super Metroid? Like <laughs> when I was going for Varia, I, I genuinely I don't know if people noticed, but there were like three seconds where I'm like turning back and forth and I actually had a moment of where's the door to bowling? <laughs> like my if brain was playing that, If you've been playing Map Rando, that might also be scrambling your brain but yeah no i retired from map rando after a uh, certain race that I'm made me very retired. upset but yeah no the yeah so you may or may not have heard this but the so you both actually suitless crystal flash east Rita, audra just did mm -hmm. it a lot earlier and couldn't kill ridley i i just regular and... crystal flash clipped because i found bombs oh yeah you but, had but, bombs but yeah just but the yeah. regular one like that's nothing it's Still really difficult. <laughs> you got it. Was, your, was it your first try? Like, I think it was literally first try. So yeah, it was first try. Impressive. That's... I, I'm happy because, like, I was practicing both regular and suitless CF clip beforehand, and my suitless CF clip was just not feeling good. So, like, what, what I'm doing in practice does contribute a little bit to the decisions I make. And so I, I was very happy to find bombs. Bombs good. But, yeah. but yeah, uh, silly seed, and you know, uh, GG to Audra. Like I acknowledge that if we play ten more games, she is winning most of them. <laughs> yes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the sillier seeds, it evens out, and sometimes there's just like so many different things that can possibly go wrong. That you know, I mean, I think most people play this seed and feel like they could have won and they could have lost. Right. Yeah. I, I think after I finished, I caught a little bit of commentary and I heard Ace saying the seed's at least like 30 minutes faster. Spoiler log. I honestly, <laughs> I honestly think it's like closer to 40. Like, yeah, you can you can do some nutty stuff here. Yeah, I mean, knowing that Varia is there, like 
you really mm -hmm. only need like one E tank to get it. So maybe two E tanks. Yeah, probably two for to like get the crystal flash Pokemon proper, like, and yeah. then to get speed and get out. At least two, because getting speed like the way back from speed is fast. The way to it is not. So yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, and you, it was, it was, and even with the spoiler, you don't get Hydra for Ice, Fun Seed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a funky map too. Like, I it, it's kind of a cute map. I like it. Uh, but uh, West Meridia having Turian and Croc at the top and the other two portals going to Upper Norfair, like, could have absolutely ruined your route. Honestly. You Which I, I guess some... and, and not care, mm -hmm. but how do you do that in this exact seed? Yeah, like I, I guess that that kind of did happen to Audra. That was that was the big reason that I like wanted to get East Meridia out of the way. Is I was like, I like okay, LN to Turian is not that bad. Um, pretty much everywhere else, this this map is so, so silly. Both of East Meridia and Criteria. Uh, Rex ship being LN and uh, bottom of Criteria. Two two of Green Britain being Red Britain, like uh, a lot of a lot of areas sort of being closed off. Yeah, closed off is a good way to describe it because the first like maybe half of the seed, like every time the two of you made different decisions, it kind of just funneled you back together anyway. So like, yeah, <laughs> there really wasn't that much variance. It was like, oh okay, well. Like, love when you went to do the West Meridia and Audra went up Red Tower instead, but then you just crossed paths and checked off the boxes, and it was like, okay, I guess we're going back to Criteria. Mm -hmm. Oh, the other decision, the, the other mistake I made that I was so pissed about, uh, you know, like, this is a bad way of thinking about it, right? But, like, when you are one minute out from finishing, you are waiting for the dot done to be like, okay, X lost me the race. Uh, I... In Criteria, right, I found the last major upgrade. It was double jump. I already had space jump. I didn't pick it up yes. and then proceeded to check a bunch of Criteria. Yeah. Like literally everything except X-Ray, because obviously that does nothing for me. Or not X-Ray, um, Climb Super. Supers, because that right. does nothing for me. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, um, I... sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say I don't know what tracker you use, but if you use masses, you can actually literally count down in the tracker, and that has helped me. Even if you don't pick it up and like see it, I uh, I use area an area tracker exclusively for areas. I don't track items at all. Oh, uh, okay. But I guess maybe I should. The other problem with that is if you don't know how many of the extra majors are added to the pool, like a double mm -hmm. jump or heat shield, or how many charge upgrades, it can be yeah. tough to know, like. I don't know, it can kind of throw you off doing that anyway. Yeah, it does. It Like, mine says negative two right now because there's 18 meters in the seat. <laughs> oh, pog. You just got to, you have to be ready for that for sure. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm really excited to be 3 0. Uh, really, really happy about the win, even if I'm not fully happy about some of my decisions. Like, it, it, you're never going to have a race where you're like, I did everything right. I think I've had one of those ever where I felt great throughout and uh, it was in a, a game that didn't matter that much, so. <laughs> but De Depending on he how things play out, you may be the 3-0 that gets paired down, but you can't get paired down to the top 2-1 because you just played her. <laughs> so. Well, we'll yeah. <laughs> Is that is that how that works? Is is seeding still a part of it, or do we seeding start... matters throughout? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, it's interesting. Yeah, who are? Do we know uh, who the well, three of are yet? to play, and there's one more coming tonight: Nitro and Navdi. So. Yeah, like I said, it's possible you are the low seeded trio. It's also possible that Nitro is, but I think it would just. Or wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah, Nitro is seated below me. I think that's incorrect, but... I had the seating pulled up and then I closed it, because I forget if you were ahead or behind of MM2. I would... I must be behind MM2. Yeah, 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 that sounds right to me. But yeah, we'll get all that sorted out in the future. We have one more race tonight. It's at... 
uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, as it said, it's Nitro versus NMD. The final 3-0 versus 3-0 or 2-0 matchup. And one tomorrow. And uh, that'll be it for week three for us. So yeah, thanks for joining us, Glove. GG's again. And uh, good luck in the future. Yeah. I think it's almost impossible for either of the commentators to meet up with you at this point because we both already lost twice. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm no. happy about that. <laughs> Staying clear of your path. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Uh, thanks so much for commentary. I was really excited to see both of you on comms. Thanks. I'm glad we got a fun race together. to do. Yeah, it, it was. I listened to tons of DJ comms. It's always great to hear you, DJ, and it was, it was fun doing comms with you as well. I concur. I'm glad you've been doing a little more recently. But yeah, that looks like it is going to be it for us. We will give a final thank you to Fishing Boo, our tracker, who had quite the task. Um, things were a little spread out and all over the place. Uh, looks like Fishing Boo has already done my job of giving out a shout out to our runners. If you want to follow them, they uh, put themselves through a certain amount of uh, torture and fun and nonsense for our viewing pleasure. And uh, yeah, the commentary team as well myself and ace both playing in this tournament fishing boo helping out tons on tracking there are rumors of a potential fishing stream in the near future if you so desire <laughs> but yeah i think that's going to do it for all of us hope to see many of you in a few hours for our final race of tonight but until then we'll see you next mission